relationship between roots and coefficient of quadratic equation. You may have seen this quadratic formula and I want to discuss in this video uh, there is a neat relationship, two relationship between the roots and the coefficient of quadratic equation. So what do I mean by that? So the quadratic equation, the general form of any quadratic equation or general form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c. This is the general form of a quadratic equation. I want to prove two results. Uh, these are the two results. If you add the roots, if you, okay, so so the coefficients, so let me talk about what are the coefficients. So the coefficients, the coefficients are a, b, and c. The coefficients are a, b, and c, and the roots, and the roots are x is equal to minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac, square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. This is one root, or you can also say the other root is x is equal to minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. So these are the two roots, and these are the coefficients. And the results that I want to prove are, one is the sum of roots. They're called the sum of roots. If you add the roots, that means this and this. Sum of roots, these are two neat formulas that are very useful at times, is minus b over a. If you add any, if you root, if you add the, roots of any quadratic equation, it will always be the ratio of b over a. And the second is the product of roots. If you multiply the roots, if you multiply the roots, we'll give you, I'll give you examples later on. So let's first prove it. The product of roots would always be the ratio of c over a. Now this is used many times in many of the examples. I want to prove this. So uh, I don't like to accept anything until I see the proof. Okay, if you're happy, if you don't want to learn the proof, you can stop the video. But uh, if you want to, if you enjoy proofs, so this is one video you should be watching. So sum of roots is minus b over a, and product of roots is c over a. So the roots are these. So let's prove the first result, the sum of roots. Okay, the sum of roots. So sum. I only write sum, would be this plus this. So if you add, so this will be minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a plus minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So we're just adding the roots in the general form. So if you add the roots, the denominators are same, so you can multiply the numerator. So this is minus b. If it, I'm not writing the whole thing. If you add this, okay, so let me write it so that you can see what's happening. So plus square root of b squared minus 4ac. As it's plus, the signs would remain the same. Minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So what would get cancelled? Here you got plus square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is also called a discriminant, and you got minus of this. So you end up with the sum is minus 2b over 2a, and that's how you got, or you get minus b over a as the answer. So if you add any two roots, the sum would always be minus b over a. So let me give you an example. Okay, suppose let's take a simple quadratic equation. Say uh, x squared minus 5x uh, minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so let's factorize this. So, well, you can put them in two brackets. So this is the easiest way of doing it. You write x here. x times x is x squared. And the two factors of negative 6, which gives you negative 1, are negative 6 and plus 1. So you can see that the roots 
R x roots nothing means uh, the values of x the roots are x is equal to 6 or x is equal to negative 1 so let's add the roots so the sum of roots so the six, the sum of roots would be 6 plus negative 1 which is plus 5 now what does the formula say okay the sum the formula says the sum should always be minus b over a okay so which is negative of minus 5 over 1 so your b is negative 5 so it's minus b so minus minus 5 is 5 so that's 5 so this is confirmed you can make up your own quadratic quadratic equation add the roots and see whether it uh, satisfies this formula okay so let's look at the product okay so let me use a different color so the product is when you're multiplying the roots. So if you multiply the roots, you get minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a times minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So let's multiply the top and the bottom separately. So this, if you multiply the top, this is minus b squared minus square root of, using difference of two squares, minus b 4ac, the whole squared over, multiplying the denominators, 2a times 2a is 4a squared. So negative b times negative b is negative b squared. And then you can use uh, negative b times this would be positive, and this times negative b would be negative. So this times this would get cancelled with this times this. And then you got this times this. And that's why I put a negative square root of b squared minus 4ac, the whole squared over 4a squared. And negative b, the whole squared, will become b squared. And when you're squaring a square root, the radical will get cancelled. So I'll put this in the bracket in the first place. So it's b squared minus 4ac over, I'm going to write this as 4a times a. 4a times a. So expanding this out. So this is b squared minus b squared plus 4ac over 4a times a. Okay, so the product would simplify, so this would get cancelled. You can cancel this and this out. So what remains is 4a times c in the numerator, and the denominator you have 4a times a. So this and this gets cancelled, 4a and 4a gets cancelled. So what remains is c over a. So the product... So yeah, the product is always going to be C over A. So let's take an example to illustrate this. You can take complicated examples. So let me make an example. 2x squared minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so how can we factorize this? Okay, so let's use a calculator to do this faster. So let's go to... Uh, equation and oops, I have to go to equation and polynomial second degree. So you type in two, negative one, execute and negative three. So let's see what's the roots are. Roots are 1.5, so you can say x is 1.5 or x is uh, minus one. So we can say x is equal to 1.5 or x is equal to negative 1. x is equal to negative 1. So if you multiply, so product of roots, the product, the formula tells me, is a product of this two would be. Product of roots is, uh, if you directly multiply without using the formula, is minus 1.5, or which is minus 3 over 2. 
Okay, so what does the formula say? The product say the formula says the product is always C over A. Is C over A, which is negative 3 over 2. Hopefully this video has been helpful. You can uh, do many examples and try to it'll be a good thing to remember these formulas if you're doing top maths courses. These two formulas are used in many of the problems.